Hey, it was guys, still had the victory over there in Las Vegas. All uh, right. It was a great trip. We had a, a lot of different places we went, and God really is still blessing God's people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I have learned a lot from this trip. A lot of different things that I had a different point of view, <coughs> but now I got a different point of view on how the people of God should treat each other. Amen. Uh, not that we treat uh, anybody bad, but when you go different places, they treat you different. Uh, sometimes you get uh, learn different ways. Uh, you learn to appreciate what you got at home. Come on. You learn to appreciate the Word of God in different aspects. Uh, one of the things I, I love the most is the way on, everybody treat you when you're over there. It's really a blessing to be among God's people. Uh, they do pretty much what we do here. We, we find different ways to to make you feel like you're at home. Yes. They find a way to lead you to God like you wouldn't believe it. Uh, if you're not safe, by the time you get back, you're safe. <laughs> if they treat you so many ways that you're going to like one of them, just like we say here. And pretty much they are, uh, they're really, if you want to get upset with me, go ahead and do it right now, because I'll tell you what, they really honor their pastor. They really do. The church in, uh, in Las Vegas <coughs> honored their pastor. And like I said, I've seen different ways that uh, they work, and uh, we work in somewhat similar to them, so we don't honor the man of God like he should be honored. We come to the services, we sing, we shout, we get blessings, and then we go home. A lot of times, Brother Marlon stay here until about 11, 12 o'clock at night, counseling with people that are that really they need to make an appointment with him in the office and let him go relax and rest right. after the service. Right. When he preaches hard out, teaching us, preaching to us the word of God, and then he's wore out. And some of us want to talk to him after the service. Come on, people. Come on. I have really I learned to appreciate the man of God. I learned to appreciate the church. Not that I don't appreciate all of you. Because I know you were praying for us. But we need to come a little higher. Like Brother, uh, Brother Marlon been teaching us. We really need to get higher. Not, so, not, not, not only in our services. But with ourselves. Amen. Amen. How many of us go and visit another family when we're not in church? My God. That isn't good. I didn't hear no evangel on that one. But that's all right. It don't matter to me. I didn't come here to please you. I came to please him. It's all about him. Hallelujah. But I learned how God's people depend on each other more and more every day. We live in hard times. But for me, it's not a hard time. For me, it's a way to go through. For me, it's a way to rise up in the Lord. For me, it's the way that I can appreciate God's people more because I've seen what's out there. If you want to see the world, go to Vegas for one night. Go in front of the, of, of the whole, all the casinos. I was uh, mentioning to Brother Cruz a minute ago how they announced they got a big, 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 big billboard, pornography, gambling, and everything else that you can think of. Now, among all that, even is a lot of people call it Sin City, and it is, but you know, from Sodom and Gomorrah, God brought a lot out. There was people that served God in there. May not be very many, may not, may not be what we want to see as in God's people. But it's God's people. Church is right. The church is there. The right. church is still triumphant. Still there. Yeah. So I appreciate every. I appreciate the uh, the opportunity that God gave me to go to Las Vegas. 
I appreciate what God did in my soul. I learned a lot. It was a blessing. I don't know if, uh, when you go over there, those that are going or those that's been in the meeting, uh, God will bless you the same way He did me and my family. But it was a blessing. It was an experience. And we got to go to Arizona. I was telling Barbara that my keeper over there, because she didn't have the passport. <coughs> Arizona, <laughs> but uh, she said you didn't bring yours either. But anyways, we went to a camp campground, and they were modeling the campground that Brother Catron is uh, acquainted with, and it's a beautiful place. And we've got people raise that place up, and, and the Lord's not Terry is coming. I'm sure I'll be seeing that place again. Amen. This has been a blessing. Amen. It's so good to be back home. We're glad to have you. Amen. So God bless you and just keep praying for us. But overall, let's learn to honor our pastor and his wife. Amen.